All right. I do not know this album, but only based on cover, title, and the first song, this shit is about to be toxic. At least I hope so. I really do. I really do. I expect it to be. Ultra violence, cruel world, the first song, and it's in black and white. I am in black and white. We haven't invented color yet. We just got back to the 1950s. Oh, I didn't think about that. What, what kind of time period we could be right now? The previous album, Born to Die, was very, very blues. 50s, 60s, she talked about it with Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, I believe even Johnny Cash, this certain direction. Maybe she's moved on. I can only tell the first producer is Dan Auerbach, American artist. I don't know him and I do not know him from the first album either. 2014, Lana Del Rey. We are both matching. We are both matching, her and I. By the way, I, okay. I don't know, I do not know if I have to explain, but I involuntarily have seen her nudes. It's not nudes, it's art. <laughs> Whoa, it's art. So only to be a, a little bit in the modern day world, I try to check out whatever is going up with the current artists. I know that, for example, Miley Cyrus is releasing in March and she is releasing a new album. And I just really uh, recognized a Sam Smith album being released. I don't know. Anyways, so I went on to not her socials because it's blocked, but to people reposting her socials. I go, I go on Reddit check the Lana Del Rey subreddit and the first image I see, not even ask, I don't complain. Hey, sending nudes, okay. It's not nudes, it's art, but still. First post I see is basically her fucking tits. I thought, okay, that's a bit, I don't know. <laughs> usually, usually artists do not post them themselves. Most of the time it's some, some hacker. Anyway, she, she felt like doing so. Okay. I uh, We can see in the picture, now she's wearing a, wearing a bra. I left my bra at home today. I didn't bring it. I also had, I don't have V-cut white shirts. Who am I? A gym bro? No. So I had to improvise. Getting a normal shirt, just opening up a button. But <laughs> I'll try <laughs> Every now and then I realize the amount of, not bullshit, but I just realize what I am actually talking about in the moment. Anyway, uh, in the background, probably hard to see. I talked about it on Born to Die that Lana is described to be the female The Weeknd. So when both come out of a, by the way, The Weeknd, we're going to listen to House of Balloons this this month. Oh yeah, I, I checked the, the polls. And you guys decided, I don't know if this is mirrored or not, but you guys decided, hey, um, Ultraviolence first by 47%. Second place went to Harry Styles, Harry Styles, 28% and Folklore by Taylor, 26%. For quite some time, Taylor has been in the lead, but towards the end for no specific apparent reason, Harry took the W. The Weekend is the male version of Lana. And, oh, by the way, did you know? See, now I'm really into this. Uh, the most listened to interlude on Spotify is the Stargirl interlude from Starboy. Oh, fuck, I should have picked Starboy. I went with Beauty Behind the Madness. If you can see it, can you see it? Uh, you could see it. You can zoom in. Anyway, Stargirl. Stargirl and it is by Lana Del Rey. I think, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the Lana Del Rey feature or one of the Lana Del Rey features that they've been working on together. Unfortunately, it's not the Silver Surfer intermission. Of course, as a wavy dude myself, that would have been good. But okay, we need to get to the point. I hope that this is allowed to be uploaded. I really do. I really, really do. I'm really excited. I really guess that we are about to go very much into this black and white toxic probably 50s i couldn't I, I can't really tell by her dress or the car it looks vintage 
there's that cruel world first song we do not listen to the deluxe version we listen to the normal 11 track version that ends with the other woman we start with cruel world we end with the other woman 51 minutes 11 tracks cruel world the, fa the first song dan is produced by the way i think the entire album has been produced when whenever i clicked on yeah everything probably everything anyway i'm um, gonna head of ourselves we are getting ahead of ourselves cruel world lana del rey i'm 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 a little bit excited a little bit excited we'll see we'll see also sonically how is it going to be it's going to be very orchestral the previous album definitely 50s and 60s almost isolated guitar Of Mr. Voice. Okay, a similar narrative to the previous album. Well, we just played the song for two minutes and this is gonna get blocked. Anyway, Dan Auber combining a lot of sounds, a lot of sounds, combining definitely at the beginning 60s, early 60s, late 50s with those certain guitar sound and the drums but now towards the chorus almost fading away in the background left and right a little bit like some some video game sound <laughs> delayed going on for miles and miles and miles and we have <sighs> shed my body and my mind with you that's all over now It could be, it could be, I don't, I don't want to combine and say, oh, this is Born to Die 2 or Born to Die, the successor. But currently, Shape My Body, My Life, that's over now. The more I can do, you're so famous. Got your Bible, got your gun, and you like to party and have fun. And I like my candy and your women. I'm finally happy now that you're gone. Is this from her perspective or is it from the guy's perspective? Born to Die ended with her being, I think she turned popular or famous. The little, ah, uh, yeah, we really remember the dress. We, uh, if you've been on the first video, we do remember the dress from, from Carmen even. I'm the best. She's crazy, drinking, get a little bit suburban. So. Are we not gonna? Are we are we out of this party lifestyle? Maybe. I share my body and my mind with you. That's all over now. I really miss those vocals. We knew from Born to Die. You didn't even hide it. Okay, everybody knows. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really like those electronic sounds. I don't even think it's electronic. I think it's guitars. It is. Electronic guitars. Okay, by pausing every two minutes. Hey, Lana, very grateful. Grateful? No, that's not a word. Oh, oh it is, if you would just let this be up. By the way, got your Bible and your gun. 
Born to Die talked a lot about the United States and what it means to be American. But we did not, if I remember correctly, talk a lot about religion. Although the US are a pretty religious country. To my surprise, I just realized now, a month later, weeks later. Quite a long song, I just realized now. Six minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, it's in this. It's an electric guitar being plugged in. Oh, very dirty sounding guitars, both of them. Very, very crunchy. But good, good. It fits, hey, it, it fits the aesthetic. It really does. It fits perfectly. Cruel world. It is. It is. You're crazy for me. A lot of people are. I, I don't know if I'm crazy for her yet. A little bit of suburban, but what, what, what does it mean with these suburbans? Before, prior to this, we were in Cali, and Cali mostly Hollywood, LA. Both her uncle allegedly sober since she was 18. Oh, by the way, she's religious. Yes, one of the things that I just uh, randomly came across on her subreddit apparently, she is a Christian. But apparently, if, if if most of the people don't know or didn't notice prior, I, I especially not on Cruel World and Ultra Violence, I will not notice that. Title track talking about Ultra Violence, and Dan again. Dan, I'm 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 looking forward to Dan. What what's Dan gonna pull out? This one has a music video, and this is a very very '60s car. Those small rims. We're in the 60s. This is like a, like a muscle car, right? 60s muscle car? Ooh. A Gran Torino? Ultra violence. How violent are we gonna get? That's the only question. The second track, and already the title track. Now we have strings. And a piano. Jim Beam. By the way, her music is a vibe. Her music, it, 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 it's, an, it's a vibe in itself. Born to die as much as this one has been so far. Okay, so apparently she is referencing a, another track here. But she also did that on Born to Die, where she said one for the money, two for the show, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. 
Deadly Nightshade. Nowadays, DN stands for these nuts. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little pause right here. Okay, Jim is uh, the Jim Morrison, the front man of a band. As she said, uh, Marilyn's my mother, Elvis is my father, and Jim is the one who taught her to what true love felt like. True love felt like Chris Brown. <laughs> Okay, ultra, 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 ultra violence is the fitting title for this song. <laughs> but apparently she wants it. I didn't, I, I believe, uh, one of the reputation videos for some, for like a day. I had the BSM mommy thumbnail until YouTube sent me a mail. <laughs> We have some sort of glockenspiel or little bells in the back. course when she said at, at, towards the last chord when she said the siren sirens using the guitar again but as a form of sirens siren she hit me and it felt like a kiss you ask for it <laughs> okay wait 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 right here i love you the first time i love you the last time i said princess comprende mis white lines I'm your jazz singer and you're my cult leader. Ultra violent. I told you it's gonna get toxic. I love you forever. I love you forever. Lay me down tonight in my linen and curls. I told you we we're gonna get toxic and we did. Oh, wait, right here. Heaven is on earth. I would do anything for you. Blessed is this union crying tears of gold like laminate. This is so, so toxic. Oh yeah, she talked about uh, getting back to New York at some point right here. She is from New York. And obviously she wasn't around doing Woodstock, but she is from New York originally. Originally. But I guess this is another character. On the other hand, the character from Born to Die also had a lot of similarities to her real life persona. Good. Hey, I asked and she delivered. Toxicity, toxicity, Lana. Shades of cool. May twenty six, two thousand fourteen. This is another music video. Again with a very sixties looking dress. This is the sixties. The style from the sixties. I talked a lot about it on the Born to Die music video. 
Shades of Cool, I do know Cooler Than Me by Mike Posner. And Dan again on the production side. And this is a fucking 007 song. That guitar, come on. Dan deserves a raise. I hope Dan's been paid very well. Dan deserves what? At first I thought, okay, we're going slow. First of all, this she has made a song or was asked to do a song for some James Bond, but this at the beginning, those guitar, that guitar progression, that was, there was 007. 007. Shades of Blue, we know blue stands for heartbreak. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shades of Blue, blue eyes and jazz and attitude. Sometimes you gotta have that orange cat behavior. California, Chevy Malibu, and then he calls, calls for me. He lives for uh, drugs, his loves his baby too. And she can't change him. She can't fix him. She can't. Can't even make him better. Honestly, this dude's giving me kind of Charlie Sheen vibes. <laughs> or, oh yeah, Charlie Sheen is the real person. Or Charlie Harper vibes. Beautiful strings and a bit of synthesizers. she's going in the um, born to die she quite often mostly stayed in her lower register i don't think i've ever heard her like this of course we've heard her go high for a short period of time but we never heard her constantly stay up there we never did in what kind of setting does she perform this live did she go i just uh, came with the 19 adele album and she performed that album quite born to die some of the songs on that quite bluesy jazzy funky i didn't expect that and adele went into i don't know small like cafes hotels performed it there which is the perfect the perfect setting and this isn't music that you play in a stadium this isn't music that you play in a club this is music where you go to the some old established five-star hotel and perform it for an evening you you need to have the the surroundings for this 50s 60s feeling otherwise it just won't hit as hard am i right Best song so far. Mm 
that guitar sounds aggressive. Wow. <laughs> Complete cut. And Lana's angelic voice. And the string section. At this point I can just let it play out. If Lana didn't take this video down prior to right now, I should be fine. I really like when a guitar chord is played each note on their own. Instead of just... Wow, Lana. Cool, cool choices right after the bridge to first of all have this very very obviously quite fitting unforgiving crumbling sadly a little bit of anger with the with the guitar and then complete cut bring in the strings lana sings as if she wants to go to heaven and just says you're unfixable i can't break through you live in shades of cool. Your heart is unbreakable. Damn. He is a badass motherfucker. <laughs> As we could tell from which ones here. Cold heart, hands and aptitude. He lives for love for women too. I'm one of many bonnies below. Cause he calls for me and not for you. Press all over. We really having having a fight within the Oh I do everything in black and white just for the genius page to still have a little bit of color in it. On the other hand, it's blue right now, which she has mentioned a lot throughout the song, so it is an an artistic choice of mine. It was an artistic choice of mine. I have thought about this. Because for me it's not for you. We have he prays for peace and maybe someone new. We are having them some 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 fights right here. But Lana's never been the the number one girl, right? Although on although the person on No Common wasn't it, but in general the person on Born to Die, she had okay, she had a lot of daddies, but she didn't I guess they also had several several girls. She's never been the one. Brooklyn Babies is another music video because it's another Oh, it's an old Mercedes. Oh, wait. But the picture beforehand wasn't a Mercedes, was it? Not this one. Exactly. I'm talking about this boy. I don't know the 70s Mercedes. -es. Brooklyn Baby. We have figured out that she is from New York originally. Brooklyn Baby and Bro oh, New, New York. That's the setting for this album so far. The, the sound. 50s, 60s, old, nice, 70, 80, 90, 100 year old hotel building as well. That's, that's necessary for this, for this album. It needs to be that the building where she plays this music, it needs to be at least from the, from, probably from the 1920s. That'd be the perfect time. From the 1920s or prior and then she's sitting there her a guitarist and oh she could also do piano versions of these songs if she wants to keep it very very low key brooklyn baby <sighs> she's one of many babies very fast paced quite beatles like Good 
she's a vibe. She's a cool vibe. Of course, hey, when you're Brooklyn, baby, you get down to rap. I would just assume that beat poetry is rap. Am I right? Because also the percussion during the chorus. Do, 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 do. Artistically, in the generation of the 60s, where they spent their nights writing novels, writing novels or folk songs, I don't know, respect as a writer within that community, and so I thought either. Okay, I'm sticking to rap because the percussion is very, very even runaway. Like, do, 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 do. jazz collections rare. I've got feathers in my hair. Hey, if I knew this, it was going to be like this, I would have picked out. I, I, I do own some jazz records. She's f jazzy. Is he young to love you? Yeah, that's similar to the person on Born to Die. I don't really think I understand the freedom of land of the 70s. I think I'm too cool to know you. You say I'm like the eyes. I freeze. I'm turning out novels like beat poetry on amphetamines. My boyfriend's in a band. He plays guitar while I sing Lou Reed. Do I know Lou Reed? Highly influential American musician of the revolutionary band The Velvet Underground. I do know that Lana grew up with a lot of 60s, 70s rock as well as rap music. Or she didn't grow up with rap music. She later on in her, I guess, late teenage years started to listen to rap music. But I do not know Lou Reed. No. Maybe I have heard him. Maybe. Feathers in my hair, I get down to beat poetry. Feathers in her hair is a very Woodstock thing to do. A more of a, more of a, not Tomorrowland, the other one. This California white girl shit. You will know what I'm talking about. Where only Instagram people go to make shots and no one really cares about the music anyways. <laughs> Right now, currently, throughout the entire second verse, we have this ongoing noise. Almost like a plugged in microphone. Opposites attract each other. You go, girl. Throughout, every song so far has been mostly carried by several guitars playing at the same time. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I guess the song is actually meant to be her boyfriend and her playing together. The entire album? Maybe, but this song in specific? Yes. But what worries me, Lana, in the previous song, Shades of Cool, we got a little glimpse of what you think cool means or cool is. And right now you say that you are cooler than him. And if we just go back to Shades of Cool real quick to see what you believe is cool. Cold heart, hands, aptitude, lives for love, women, one of many, Bonnie's blue. 
Although, okay, yeah, he prays for love, he prays for peace, but most certainly someone new and you can't help him. So can't you guys help each other? See, at first I thought, hey, they are complete opposites. When she said, what did she say? Here, right now you're burning, I'm cooling, you're up, I'm down, you're blind, I see. But now she says, I'm cooler than you, so they are pretty similar after all. Yeah, I'm talking about my generation. I'm talking about my newer nation. By the way, I at first I didn't think, but repeating beat it makes me think of Michael Jackson. I'm sorry. You can beat it. That's probably the newer generation, MJ. And the previous generation is, right? That's how I would interpret it, right? She says, newer generation is towards all the ones who disagree with her ways. Shut the fuck up. One contributor. Yeah, could. If and could are not good. Nah, I'm I'm telling you this is the newer generation and what she's currently doing is the her generation. Or the generation this character is in or wants to be in, identifies with Brooklyn Baby. Ah, Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn nowadays not so much anymore. Brooklyn's become very it's not uncool, but Brooklyn has become just another part of New York. Previously to that, 90s, early 2000s, yes, Brooklyn was a cool place to be. But now, uh, not so much anymore. West Coast, okay. So Lana just decided to throw up both gangs at the same time. <laughs> at first Jay-Z and now Park. Or no, at first Biggie and then Park. West Coast is track number five. Die, doesn't it? Very interesting choice. At first, I thought for the first time we have a very beat driven song, the other ones were very guitar driven. Now we have doo -doo 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 -doo. going crazy on the drums, but during the chorus, take everything out and just go back to born to die to be fair it does make sense when he's talking about the west coast because born to die did happen on the west coast my sweet boy is saying he's crazy cubano como yo apparently they're both cuban move baby move baby i'm in love that's what she said she when when she said uh shades of cool Talked about the dude always waiting for someone new. And now she does. And she is cooler than him. So you bet she does. The way I'm feeling hard to touch. Say I miss me and I want to say I miss you so much. You really cried. I'm alive. I'm alive. You're alive. You're alive. My love. That was because they got saying. If you're entering, then you're playing. Got the music. You got the music. You don't. You don't rest because I get that feeling. It could happen. That's why I'm leaving. For the moment you for the moment boy blue again blue it's always blue yeah her boyfriend used to play the guitar Very, right now, a very different sound from Born to Die. Baby, 
could even name that instrument, the second melody on top of it. They seem perfect for each other. Do you see Carino boy, it's you. TDC or she wants him. She desires him. For the way hotter than fire. No one ever really made me feel that much higher. Damn. But a very, very interesting choice to completely change the pace for the chorus. Their icons, Silver Starlets, their Queens of Saigons. Got the music and the music and you. Golden Gods, probably the Walk of Fame. I don't click the annotations. The Golden Gods is going to be the, the Wall of Fame. Uh, the, wa the Walk of Fame. Or obviously, who Oscars, Grammys here. You get nominated, you win something. Now you're something better than the rest of us. To be fair, the, right now, the Grammys are in a couple of days. Complete shit show. Ever since after the weekend, for a week ago, after dropping the biggest album of the year, maybe even the past couple of years, with Blinding Lights still or being the most listened to song of all time on Spotify. And they said, hey, I know that After Hours is probably the best album of the year and Blinding Lights is by far one of the best songs of the year. But I'm sorry you went for the Super Bowl. We just can't nominate you for any of our categories. That tells you enough you need to know about the Grammys. Ye was right pissing on that shit. I'm sorry, but it's just a fact. And they're racist. Remember some songs ago where I said that Lana is a vibe? This has been the most vibey song in the sense of kind of pulling together what Lana is so far from her first and this album. I know there's also some album before Born to Die. I forgot the name of it. Very weird when she even changed her name. Anyway, hey, he's crazy and Cubano like her. They are perfect for each other. <laughs> Apparently. Maybe we do not know yet if he's also older than her, if he could be her papi. Sad girl, oh. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Maybe they are not perfect for each other. Hey, none of my statements are legally binding. I'm just gonna get myself out into the safe zone. Very jazzy. other options. We could tell already. <laughs> See? Hey, look, Lana. Wait. Lana, Charlie, I, I believe I also called it Della Bitch. We, we're all bitches, by the way. If you're new to this community, we're all bitches. Technically. Basically, Literal, maybe not literally, but technically. <laughs> who else? Who else? Taylor, not so far. The Swiftless haven't been, but the other ones. I'm trying to think of it. I think uh, Lord as well. Lord, 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 Lord is a bad bitch. Okay, uh, yeah. She's a sad girl. Um, <sighs> she always has been, though. 
it's nothing new. Not, uh, not the part of a sad girl, but being the side. Be, being on the side. Being a bad bitch on the side. And not everyone can live with that lifestyle. By the way, the guitars are very Spanish or Latin American. The acoustic guitar. We have not, but I can make up an image in my mind from what I know of him. Okay, we got a... What the fuck happened to my hair throughout this video? Apparently it's a very charming. Just so first of all, okay, cool that we let isolate the. It's not a. Oh, it is a guitar, I believe. I just let this play out way too much all of the time, but I do like to do it. Okay, so she is. He's he's apparently a cool guy. She he may be cooler than her, honestly. Fine, he talks with it. He's a charming motherfucker, and she can't help herself. And now she's a sad girl because of it. But she did say on the one of the previous tracks, West Coast and Brooklyn Baby, she talked about how she loves to fall in love and do that. Or this character. Almost like a mantra. The repetition internalizing this. <sighs> Lana, hey. You always go for them. Pretty when you <laughs> Oh, we have some more people. Blake and Lee Foster. Lee Foster, obviously. Let me tell you something about Lee Foster. Or maybe not. But let me tell you something about Blake is an american guitarist songwriter and producer we don't know which one of these two is blake oh pro away oh no it's it's uh, it's lana on the right okay blake is probably the dude on the left <laughs> unless she has an alter ego or some personality disorder pretty when you cry <sighs> is the sad girl crying or is okay i don't think that he's crying Mr. Cubano. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, Blake, this is definitely a guitar. But a good port pro progression.
For whatever reason, slow drums and guitars playing chords each note individually. Technically, that's not a chord. Who cares? Do work perfectly together. And they also carry this immense amount of, she would say Brooklyn Baby, this immense amount of just like being. I don't want to say swag, it's 2023, we don't say swag. It just conveys this cool feeling, cool, that's what I'm looking for. Cool is a perfect word to describe it. Perfect word. Let's continue. Of guitar. I already figured during the bridge in the background, but now we gotta take it to the front. By the way, has this woman never heard of the term ugly crying phase? That's, I'm, I'm, I don't know about y'all, but when we cry, we look dumb, <laughs> we look foolish. Foolish. We don't look dumb, we look foolish. But we're fucking idiots, honestly. Ah, I think I even talked about it in one of the previous songs. Well, sad girl, yeah. That he is uh, her, that they are even or he's even stronger. Ah. Don't say you need me if you know what you're, that you're leaving. Damn. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> but she knew it from the beginning. She said, hey, I can't change him. I can't. And I know that. I, I don't mean shit compared to all your drugs. Yep. I only mark up more than that. Like my memories. I don't need that. Oh. <sighs> Lana. Money, power, glory. Grego. Who's Greg? Gregory, he, Gregor was actually kind of right. Gregory Allen Kirsten, May 14th, 1969. American record producer, songwriter, pop producer. Money, power, glory. Hmm. Money, yes. Power, uh, well, the dude has, yes. And glory, well, the dude is apparently famous from one of the first songs. Altogether, dangerous mix. Change in sound. How are we supposed to get there with the way that we live? And she brought back the born to die voice. That's not what this bitch wants. Not what I want at all. I want money. After this, didn't I even wait? Wait, wait, on Born to Die, I'm pretty sure I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I edited it out. 
but I'm pretty sure that I even sang Goldtick. <laughs> hey, honestly, honestly, we've seen her, her sentiment towards this fella and how he treats her based on that. I, I, I would not blame her in this situation if she says, hey, you're a fucking asshole. I'm, I'm not saying treat people like assholes, but uh, karma. <laughs> karma. No, but that's, he's, uh, he's talking about, talking lots about God. And he's just, she just says, hallelujah, I'm going to take you. And now she's become the God we're living today. Bitch ones, no, they won't at all. Huh. But she, in general, is again criticizing, especially the West Coast life. Oh, okay, to be fair, it's the same on the East Coast. I don't know about some farmer in Wisconsin, but those two are the, the main reasons for that lifestyle. The sun also rises on those who fail the call we got the guitar again Look out for that dirty, aggressive, crunchy e guitar. If you hear the slightest note coming out of that guitar during one of the first choruses, you bet your ass it's gonna come back during the last chorus or the bridge. reverb but a lot of room for that for that drum to work do, 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 ch, 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 do, 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 do. the lid cut up and just delayed also during this song the guitar at the beginning or in general during the verses i believe fiddling around between two notes dee, 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 dee. Ah. shall i really sing again the although uh, this is different than a gold okay it is a gold digger but it's a gold digger with good intentions maybe <laughs> the gold digger gold digger haven't had good intentions fucked my way up to the top this is a only based on the title of the song perfect follow-up to not pretty much quite to money power glory did she fuck way up to the top? Dan, we got Dan again. Danny, Danny, Danny boy. Fuck my way up to the top. Let's hear it, let, let's hear it, Lana. Dan using pianos for once. to do. And 
time, by the way. Uh, no worries. Taking back a couple of seconds just for you. Again, we are... This was... Okay, Dan also was in the first songs, but this was... Which song was it? The Linen and the Curls, as well as the Riviera, the Riviera Girls. If you don't know the Riviera... I'm all alone in a villa on the river. Yeah, that's in France, in the south side. In case you care, other all of your friends, I wanna be the closest. Do, 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 do. Sexy motherfucker by Prince. Good song. Oh yeah, Born to Die also sometimes played on the Riviera with Monaco. again especially during the bridge and during the chorus and during the pre-chorus i wondered where were those pianos we come dan not we but dan dan danny mr daniel damn daniel he really decided to completely cut out the pianos but now he brought them back and i thought we were already at the end but no we still got oh, it this somehow her songs i don't i don't want to say they feel long but they, for example, this one, now we are at 2 minutes 30. To me, it feels like it's been 4 minutes of this song alone. Sometimes they just lure you in those uh, sirens, not sirens from a police car, but sirens as in mythical creatures that you just lose a track of time. Confirmed, she's a witch. decision to cut out the percussion and just have the piano in combination with the strings and a little bit eh, it's Dan Dan obviously gotta have a guitar in it at some point that's just how Dan works that's that's just Danny boy that's our man that's the myth the legend okay she is she fucked her way up to the top in the in the in the side hole league I'm your favorite girl well, what's gonna happen now? Next song. Okay, we only got two more songs. Right now, she fucked her way up to the top. Is a, it's or she apparently is his his favorite side chick. Next song's gonna be called, and we know Lana Del Rey goes crazy with album titles and with song titles. At least I know, or I assume from the latest. There's a hidden street tunnel under Ocean Boulevard. Did you know that there is? Lana, how am I supposed to just use the first letter of every word for that to talk about this album in online forums? How? How am I supposed to do that? To pimp a butterfly? T-P-A-B? Okay. But did you know that there's a tunnel underneath Ocean Boulevard? What the fuck? I can just type out the entire alphabet and say, guys, I don't know which album that is, but it's probably going to be one of Lana's. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, however, what's going to be the next song? Prediction, fuck my way up to the top. Now she, that, that's her way to the top. And now she went full gold digger and took his money. Old money. Oh. 
Dan Heath, another Dan. Okay. Dan Heath, old money. For now, I maybe I was right. Maybe I was. And she just took. She she just went for it. She said, "Hey, how do we want prenup? We want prenup." She leaves his ass, and she gonna leave with half. Red racing cars, sunset and vine. They're really living the lifestyle, right? The kids were young and pretty. Where have you been? Where did you go? And so is the girl you used to call. I'm sorry, she had a boyfriend that died in a car accident. I believe it was a car accident. She had a boyfriend that died for some reason. And her referencing the... What was it? The the sunshine, the cologne, Kogesh Divine, where have you been? The summer nights seem long ago. She spent driving around with that guy a lot of summer nights. The girl you used to call could be about him. But if you send for me, you know I'll come. And if you call for me, you know I'll run, I'll run to you, I'll come to you, I'll come, come. We haven't had a lot of layered vocals on this album. To my surprise. Will you still love me when I shine from words but not from beauty? My father's love was always strong. <laughs> well okay this is uh, so far this song seems very detached from the rest of the album but the rest of the album sounded like your classic and born to die did too your classic i got daddy issues that's on me the latest kendrick album father time kind of funny Kind of had the strings building again, but I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. We aren't, and we ended the way we started. I'm pretty sure this song is about that same person. On Born Today, she also made a song about him. Apparently her her dead boyfriend. We were young and pretty. Old money because it's in the past. It's an old story. I believe she even talked about it being again in her hometown, right? Where have you been? Where do you go? Some nights long ago? No, no, no. Queen of New York City. I run to you even if I come for you. The power of youth. Sunsets here. Small town. I'm out of time. But here, my father's love was always strong. My mother's glamour lives on and on. She did say that. Okay, I know I'm a law. I'm referencing a lot of Born to Die right here. But Born to Die is my only point of reference. Call me Timo 
the reference the creator no no timo point of reference the creator there was entirely the creator interview where he would always he talked about the point of reference a lot he i think he even talked about it he named point of reference 10 times in a single minute so that's my point of reference and my point of reference is elvis being her daddy and the other one being her mommy was she actually uh for six years wait what father after not communicating for six years damn I know she didn't talk about her mother. Lord on melodrama talked about Lord's mother. It's implied that her mother's legacy of being glamorous. So this is actually a quite personal song to her real life persona with her actual parents and with this actual real life boyfriend of hers. The other woman huh well she has been a lot this was so popular by nina simone nina simone i always wanted to get into nina simone after i listened to sinner man for the first time sinner man 11 minutes amazing track see nina wait was that nina simone yeah nina simone the jazz pianist right no i'm talking wait okay before I talk a lot of dumb shit, I at least want to clarify if this was Nina Simone or if Cinnamon is by someone else. Because I can't get my people confused. Nina Simone. Okay, Cinnamon was by Nina Simone. Good song. I put a spell on you. Feeling good. And I wish you knew I hold on to something. Good Nina Simone tracks. The other woman. That's really just her life at this point, or this character's life, for that matter. Let's see, how are we gonna end? I know that there are three uh, deluxe tracks, Black Beauty, Guns N' Roses, and Florida Kilos. We'll get to them. We will get to them. Matter of fact, I thought about it. I'm gonna listen to this separately, one video. And the other tracks I'm gonna do each their own. Right now it's Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those is gonna come out finishing off with the album. That's a good way to 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 end things and to not build up to it, but to, you know. But I'll make sure to not uh, reference or spoil anything from this video. This is This is an art in its own. Okay, the other woman. It's called ultra violence. I called the toxicity at the beginning, and I'm guessing that's how we end. I uh, born to die ended quite quite good for her, but now. The other woman has time to manicure nails, and she's never seen. Guitars. The other woman enchants her clothes with French perfume. 50s, baby, 50s. The other woman keeps fresh cut flowers in each room. There are never toys that scatter. I hate to pause, no worries, I'm gonna take it back. Oh my god, tell Lana! Lana! What a way to end the album! Going way back! Continuous strings, the little guitar going up and down, only as a form of seasoning to this meal of smooth ass music. Percussion, 
very, very chill. And Lana's voice as well. Talking, kind of just describing this life. She's never seen with pin curls in her hair. The other woman enchants her clothes with French perfume. That's a nice, enchants her clothes with French perfume. The other woman keeps fresh cut flowers in each room. I could go and bring some tulips out here right now. Never toys that scattered everywhere. When an old man comes to call, he finds her waiting like a lonesome queen, cause to be by her side at such a change from old routine. Damn, the other woman really kind of is everything that Lana isn't. <laughs> Dan really brought one out. Those vocal runs, this smooth ass saxophone. I talked about it on the lover video. Saxophones. Brooklyn, baby, Brooklyn. Alone. I always like when the drummers end out songs with this, or, or for this type of song, this hidden the, what do you even call that in English? Those plates. <sighs> the other woman will spend her life alone. Lana really out here flexing on these bitches. Because in the second or no, the third to last track, fucking way up to the top, she said she's the main bitch now. So she's she kind of says that she has to be that way to end up as the main girl and not as the other woman. She used to haven't had his love to keep. Well, obviously, this is very sad for the other woman, but our main protagonist has come from that point, from that sentiment. She used to be the other woman, and now she managed to be the main girl. So I'm not really that sad about this ending, honestly. Our main protagonist showed us that it's possible. And we are always rooting for the main protagonist because that's the time or that's the person we spend the most time with. We see it from her perspective and a cool sonical way to, to end off the album. A cool sonical way to end off the album. It was, it was overall our trial and so I believe that I'll have to make a, an additional thoughts video on this one because this will change over time. But so far, obviously a little bit of, a little, a tiny little bit of born to die in it, yet different overall different damn that's a honestly born to okay born to die was cool but this was all it was different but also i don't know i don't want to say better but it was different and also very very good wait i don't even know what's the or her next album after this one honeymoon oh <laughs> honeymoon after <laughs> Ooh, honeymoon change my shirt so this because hey from my point of view, these um, I do not like the word album reactions because we do so much more than just react to it. Reaction would be I sit here and just listen to the music and I don't know laugh at some points and be sad at others. But these album experiences we are creating with the colors, with the dresses, dress codes, with the having having shit in the bag, with the overall everything. I really like, they are basically, these are the the top-notch things that I like to do. This is the, the, the whole package. Everything apart from that, deluxe songs and music videos and final thoughts, those are extras. This is, this right here, this is the, the final product. Everything apart from that is a little, a little dessert. Little 
the cherry on top. But this right here is what I like most about, about these YouTube videos. Because this, this is the greatest. And this is how you, how you experience music. From my point of view, this is how you do albums. Okay, obviously, if I listen to an album in private for the first time, I do not go and dress up and turn on the camera. But you go, take the time, set everything up and just get ready for it. Prepare mentally, even physically in this case, for me at least, and we really just listen to something new and experience it as a whole. I know, and I will never, I will not change that. I won't. I know because obviously after uh, uploading my type of content, other reaction channels are being, what do you call it, recommended to me. And I know a lot of people do, for example, they would have made 11 videos out of this one. What I'm doing right now, they would turn it into 11 videos and say, oh, I'm going to listen to the other woman now. I'm going to listen to old money now. I'm going to listen to, I don't know what for each and every song of them over several days, apparently. But that's not how you do it, guys. That's also, hey, I'm, I'm not out here trying to bring anyone's mood down, but I feel like that's even disrespectful towards the artist. That's not how you listen to music. Usually the way I do it with talking in between, okay, obviously that's also not really the way you do it, but closer to what music is meant to be like. You also don't just put an album on shuffle unless you know it and just want to be surprised, but you listen to it front to back in one sitting. That's why on a, hey, I might as well just, I still have something. I might as well just do that. Jimi Hendrix, the Jimi Hendrix, the Jimi Hendrix experience, are you experienced? I haven't heard, uh, listened to that and I have it on vinyl where you can't just stop the music and let it play or continue afterwards. You can't just pause. No. Might as well do that once. It's a, I guess it's cool. Because, I don't know, at the point where, where things become too, too popular, I'm out. Nirvana? I don't know. I, I never heard of that. Of course, I know the smells like teen spirit or the chorus of it, but that's it. Why? But, but, uh, I'm just being a bitch about things. When, when things become too popular, I just, nah, fuck that. It's too popular. <laughs> I, can't <li> <laughs> I can't like what other people like. No. Anyway, ultraviolence. Damn. We really made it. If you made it to here, congratulations for sticking around. I hope I'm allowed to upload this in total. But I also do not mind if I'm not allowed to. It's live, honestly. In that case, I'll have to be the other woman and come to the point where I am the main bitch. But right now, YouTube's treating me like shit. <laughs> uh, fuck. Anyway, um, see you till... I don't know when the next video is going to come out. But I'll see you then. Hopefully. Stick around. We'll do all of the Ilana albums. Honeymoon. Sounds a bit more positive than ultra violence anyway this is probably the sixth times i'm telling you that we'll see each other but this is actually right now the end of the video bye